to the Abundant Living University. I'm your host, Glenn Ullman. Today's topic covers living, literally staying alive. Now, we've all heard of the group Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, and we all know, either uh, consciously or unconsciously, that every year tens of thousands of Americans die um, due to alcohol-related incidents on our nation's roadways. So today at lunch, as I was driving on a 40-mile-an-hour road here in Ponte Vedra, I came to a traffic light, and to the right of me was a car with kind of a banged hood, almost like somebody had slammed into a car in front of them. And I look over, and there's a young woman, and she's texting. Now, granted, the light is red. I'm thinking, okay, could explain how she has a bashed in front. As the light turns green, I notice that she is doing this. So I start banging my horn on her, looking over. She's not looking at me. I'm banging the horn, banging the horn, nothing. We go probably a half a mile with me blaring the horn at her, no response. Until finally, as she's doing this, she finally looks over at me. And this is what I did to her. I had my phone in my hand, I picked it up, and I looked at her, and I said, no, no, no. All right, now. I thought about this. Am I going to have a road rage incident? Well, the reality is that if we don't all get involved, and we have all seen this, where people are literally trying to have an email or text conversation while their eyes should be on the road, if we don't do something, then we are accomplices to whoever this person's going to run over, killing themselves or somebody else. So I'm a little passionate about this right now because obviously, for those of you who know me, I have a 17-year-old driver and a 15-year-old who's going to be a driver here as we hit to the end of April and May. This is important for all of us to get involved in. Friends don't let strangers or people they know text while driving. Love your comments. Talk to you soon.